Good day to everybody. I'm looking at a 1987 diesel Chevette 1.8 5-speed manual car. The wiring harness setup, I completely took it out from the door switches. And I will show you, because I think a lot of us learn quicker visual than in the book. Although I can read manuals and drawings very easily, but looking at it this way is much simpler. So your door switches right here are very simple. They're 11 millimeter deep socket. Spin that off and unplug them. They're a closed ground switch. So when the door pushes on it, it's open. And when their doors close, they're the lights off. So orange is always powered up. Your white is your ground circuit. And that wire runs across to the other door switch over here on the passenger side. So following up to the fuse panel, the later ones all have the newer fuse style like this. This up here is your flasher relay two prong can. This would be an accessory power wire here, the pink. This would be your buzzer for door chime. I'm not sure which one this would be, but yeah, there's one more little buzzer here. I think this is either the the key chime, this key chime one, and I think the one over here is your door buzzer seat belt, one or the other. This one here is a plug-in that goes to the harness that travels under the door sill plates in the carpet, and that is runs along all the way down comes over to your your e-brake and this is your seat belt so that goes in that can be disconnected the uh circuit for the rear defogger is uh powered through that red wire through the grommet comes through the firewall to the inside to the relay the relay is right by the uh, hood latch opening handle it's tied there on the firewall so there's a ground wire that goes for that the uh, harness itself when you're looking at it this is your panel that's up on the uh, firewall so this one right here would be the front electrical circuit to your headlights and your turn signals and your horn and your wiper washer pump this one here is all your engine stuff and sensors and so as you're looking at it underneath you're going to have your turn signal flasher that's right above your gas pedal area and this one here the red black and green would, would be your horn relay and then on your clutch pedal itself you'd have a this would be a manual so has a yellow and black wire to for starting to engage. This would be your brake. And then you got your uh, headlight unit up here. And as I said before, there's a little pin right here. You gotta press that in, it's got a little spring on it. So you wanna do is pull that all the way out completely. Press this button all the way in and completely pull out the, the switch. So over here, this is your wiper. Your wipers, you can break that connector and put the pulse wiper in there. This one here is your high beam switch and you can see the mechanism moving as I click it. This one on top here is your, your starter, your ignition connections. Underneath is your turn signal horn washer emergency flasher ribbon cable connector and as you travel up over here you'd have your gauge cluster squeeze the two pins pull it out there is continuing on there is a wire here it's got a connector that wire goes over to harness for the fan your heater fan on all of them they all split that's the power to it then there'd be your your low medium high setting for your fan switch 
and that would travel over into your heater box to the fan motor. So the black and gray is your little dome light. And this wire here has been cut. So the black and orange would be your uh, cigarette lighter. Your gray, black, and yellow is your radio. Now, regardless if it's AM, AM, FM, or AM, FM stereo, this configuration stays the same. Gray is your, your park light, so your radio illuminates. Yellow is your 12 volt power, and the black is your ground. So the connector will have a different connector for the front speaker and a different connector for the AM, FM wires going to the back, traveling along the passenger side by the sill plate under the carpet. So I came to realize the other night when I was trying to fix my brake lights, uh, I pulled out the emergency flasher, changed it with a, a newer one, and my brake lights came on. I had emergency flashers were working, I had uh, turn signals left and right were working, and the fuse here, 20 amp, which is your stop and hazard, it was working obviously if the hazards are working. I pulled it out, it was fine. Uh, I must have bumped something when I pulled out this guy and immediately I stepped on the brakes and my brake lights were. So looking at it further, I realized that this uh, wiring harness that comes from the uh, rear tail lights, it's a flat connector and that connector fits right in here. Now there is a tab in here that you have to push forward to get this connector out. The second connector that plugs into that is your uh, dome light interior of the car. Plugs in right on top of that. Now I'm realizing that these connectors probably get corroded, dirty in here. And that's why my brake lights were not working and also it could be a fuel gauge issue problem if, if these connectors are corroded. So you should pull that apart. Like I said, this tab here has to be pressed forward to get this connector out. It's a two piece connector. So that wiring here goes to this nice coloring, colored wires here. These wires are all aluminum internally. This blue one here on top is a brake light. So you got you have your parks, your left and your right, which is your brake, your fuel gauge wire in here, and backup light in this combination. And that runs all along inside of a plastic tube all the way to the back. And uh, along that with that is the purple wire, which is your rear to frost wire and it runs up between the body of the car up over top out by the hatch and it changes into a black wire on the end which is more flexible than the purple wire the other wire that comes off the back connector here if you pull the the cover off on the driver's side you will see this ribbon connector that one has uh, the third brake wire right here and it's got a blue stripe on it but you'll see it's this one right here now that connector travels to the back of the car this connector just came apart and you'll see there'll be a grommet to seal off this is on the inside of the car and it'll have the ground wire and it'll exit under the car to under the tail lights you'll have your park light your turn park light brake your backup and then it'll jump to your fuel sending unit which this one here is a diesel so it has a water sensor and a gauge so there's two wires on it your illuminated license plate light and the older ones have two then the backup light and the problems with these is always the wires are broken check for broken connectors on these on these plugs and then your park light on that side so I want to do a quick comparison to a 79 AC car, automatic, 1.6 gas. And this has the optional illuminated lighting package. There's one here, 
the bolts under the dash like that to light up your floor and then runs across to the glove box there's a light in here it'll switch for the glove box door the light bulb is not in here obviously and that runs behind and then we have another guy that comes underneath here to light up your floor on the passenger side so that's an optional package that many of you probably never seen this is a glass fuse style same configuration emergency brake flasher here's your ribbon cable i was talking about earlier but plugs into your the wiring that goes to the back of the car under the floor sill and carpet this has an up this had the clock in it and it was cut off so the clock takes power from there and then there'd be a ground wire here to the wall of the car again you have your horn relay turn signal relay your ignition and your ribbon cable for your horn washer turn signal and emergency flasher and your ignition again here's your ignition wire starters and that runs over to uh, there's a brake switch in here then you got your ribbon cable that goes up to your gauge cluster again you got your radio black gray and yellow black is ground yellow is power gray is your park light illumination for your radio and turn then you got your little light up on the dash that goes up in the top there where your radio is now the difference i saw was that they made a connector for the cigarette lighter on these that runs over pigtail and because it's an automatic it has another part that runs down by the heater under the carpet to the console shifter the illumination light for your shifter and this is your lockout and your reverse light on your shifter so they're quite similar just a few little changes here and there between the older and newer stuff so here is a 1979 wiring harness C with the optional light package under the dash and the glove box and it has the the orange white wire that runs from the lighting package and your door switches to the back of the car off the fuse block so in that grouping has the brown the black and brown stripe and that's your seat belt and your emergency brake handle notification the light that goes on the dash so that wire goes under the carpet runs along the the floor sill under the carpet over the rocker to the back where it comes out to the same plug like all the other years have except the other one has that extra wire for the third brake light and the purple is always your rear defog and it uh, is soldered off onto a softer black wire more flexible coming out the back so this orange wire with the white is your optional light switch that goes to the secondary dome light in the back of the car there's a opening already in all the cars through all the years has an opening up there a little rectangular spot for this light so you can add that to any of the cars and it has a just a little wire that goes on the door panel a little slide switch it's very simple when you open the hatch you can turn that switch on and light up the back so they're very similar just you can add these wires to that grouping also what would be added to this grouping of wires would be the rear wiper would also follow this combination with the washer pump and the wiper low and high speed switch would all follow this grouping to the back